What's up, my pilots? Hey, Ponji, we're back playing Dead Rising. In this episode, we don't have any food on us, do we? Take some goodies with us. In this episode, we are going to go to North Plaza. Because up there we have all kinds of stuff going on. One of which is the shadow of North Plaza, and another is a gun store. And so, if you're playing this game through at a low level, having access to those weapons is a huge advantage. So I'm going to try and uh, show off all, all of those advantages that I can find. Now, our small chainsaw is pretty low on durability here, which is unfortunate considering it's such a great weapon. So I'm probably going to drop it in uh, exchange for a sledgehammer in the warehouse. Good thing about going through this warehouse is that every time you come through, you have the option to pick up some snacks, you know, frozen vegetables, whatever. And then, of course, you know, some power tools. <laughs> uh, the 2x4 is not a bad weapon, honestly, but I prefer the sledgehammer because it has just it does more damage, really. It's worth it to me. Whoop. Oh! Okay. So now, to get over to North Plaza, let's see, what's going to be the fastest way? The fastest way is probably going to be to take... Not the le There's two ways to get anywhere, pretty much. Either through the leisure park or through the shortcut, which connects Paradise Plaza to Wonderland Plaza. Uh, let's see, I'm going to want to get some guns before I go anywhere. So I'm going to climb on top of the, the awnings up here. I'm going to grab myself another SMG, and hopefully the two of those will be enough to deal with this boss that we're going to have to fight. Ah, get off of me! Silly zombies. Yeah, the game gets a little bit more difficult at night, both because the zombies are more active and aggressive, and also because they're just so much m more darkness. The, the fact that you can't see really does make a huge difference at night. And it's, whoop, not, not a good one. Being able to look far ahead into a crowd and then see what the best path through is, whoa! Oh, I must be holding the same SMG already. Darn, it's, it hasn't respawned yet. Well... I can pick up a couple handguns from the security guard zombies in the fountains over here. That's the always that's always the other option is to find a security guard zombie and take his handgun. Since the zombies aren't smart enough to use guns, it's not really a big deal. I am holding some good food here though. I got an untouchable, an orange juice, those are both good. Anybody here got a gun? Looks like this guy might. What did he drop? A nightstick? Yeah. One of these guys tends to have a handgun. There it is. I'll just take that with me. Okay, so um, I guess I'm going to go through <laughs> Leisure Park since I'm already over here. I could take the shortcut, but it would take us up to the other side of North Plaza. And I don't want to go after the Shadow of North Plaza scoop just yet, because I, I want to have some more powerful weapons from the gun store before I take them on. Well, sounds like the convicts have respawned. They do come back every so often. I think you can. I think you have to deal with them once a day. Uh, any, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they respawn every day, but I don't know what time. The first day they they appear just after dark or just before dark, at like six o'clock. The other the other two days, I'm not sure. It looks like they might appear at midnight or something. Cause if they're already out here, it's no good. Rock. <laughs> They're probably the most annoying psychopaths, just because Leisure Park is such a convenient way to go from one place to another, and they just they take that away from you by making it a dangerous place, full of angry orange jumpsuits and guns. Okay, so there's all kinds of good stuff in North Plaza. Hmm. Let me think about where to start here. Uh, I believe there's a good weapon right here in the fountain. Let me check and see. Oh, getting a call from Otis about North Plaza. Don't much care. You know what? In fact, I'm going to ignore him. So over there is Chris Lips. It says Home Saloon. That means hardware store. And then this bag of chips here. Over, whoops. Hey, shut up, Otis. If you interrupt him twice, he doesn't call back. Over here's a camera store. 
where you can recharge your camera batteries if you're into that kind of thing. Hey! You still calling me? Otis! What is the deal, man? Okay, apparently sometimes he calls back twice. Where's the battery power in this store? It's supposed to be this thing right here, right? Da 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 da. Yeah, there's also a supermarket at the other end. One of these has ba uh, there's batteries somewhere in this store. Where where in the world? There we go. Boom. By the big sign that says batteries. Be a good place to start looking, I think. So North Plaza has a hardware store, a gun store, and a supermarket, which pretty much makes it survival heaven. The only problem is none of the other stores are open, so there's nothing else here, which can kind of suck, you know. And there's a, a heck of a lot of zombies and also a lot of debris around. So it can be kind of difficult to get around. So back here is the hunting shack. And, oh man, the, the, the survivor who's in the hunting shack is, or the psychopath rather, who's in the hunting shack is one of the most annoying fights. He's not that difficult. But he, he is... And he's, he's really annoying, and the reason is you're in very close quarters with him, and he has a gun. <laughs> so, it can be difficult to avoid taking damage. Uh, he wields a shotgun that will actually knock you on your back, and it's easy for him to combo you to death. If we're gonna fight these zombies, we need guns! Yes, stay back! I trust them damn zombies about as far as I can throw them, but I trust people even less! Don't shoot! Look, let, let's talk this over! You can talk to my trail gauge! Don't get no closer! I'll blow y'all to kingdom come! Hey, hang on. Take it easy, man. Don't do it. Oh, wow. Oh, God damn it, I warned you. In a situation like this, I can't afford to trust nobody. And it's dark, too. Okay, so basically when the fight starts, first thing you want to try and do is hide behind something. Okay, so these... Oh, there he got me. Damn. These sword displays are... Okay, that one is giving me a bad angle. Normally you can hide behind them like this. Okay. And then when he reloads, you step out and take some shots at him. The game auto-aims... a lot, honestly. Strangely enough, he fires six shots before uh, reloading. Good news is, although... Oh, damn. It's really hard to hide. Can I even get points for this when he's not on screen? No, okay. He's really hard to avoid. Because he fires six shots, and then he reloads. I don't know if I'm even hitting him. The auto aim in this game, I really don't trust that much. Oh, man. The thing is, it's basically impossible to step out, shoot him consistently, and then get back behind cover without getting hit. Mostly because it takes so- oh! Knocked him- oh no, he crawled. What is that? Oh, come on! And then so often- yeah, I get anything. You can see the icon, but you can't actually get points for it from your behind something. Yeah, and then sometimes he just hits you, you know? Oh, I was trying to take a photo! He's drinking out of a bottle of wine, you can get a photo of that with a lot of points. Can you see what I mean? It's like impossible to get behind something well enough that you can actually kill this guy. This is the only thing that there is for cover, too. There's no way to crouch or anything. The best thing you can do is hide behind this. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm probably gonna get killed here. This fight really sucks. Like, I, des I despise this fight. And every time you try, if you try and get close to him with a melee weapon, like, don't even bother. He's gonna blow you backwards. Look at this shit! It's impossible! I, this is my least favorite... I mean, he's, he's shooting me through this thing now. Drink the orange juice, dude. I gotta switch cover. He's not liking this one. Ugh. And you're given no time. I have to run now or I'm gonna get killed. It's a little... Oh, I hate that survivor so much. Just... It's the worst. Alright, let me clear some space out here. The good news is that when you start the fight, the door is automatically closed. So you don't have zombies coming up behind you. So that might almost be a good thing. Because at least maybe one of them would distract him or something. 
I have no idea if there's a good way to do that fight, but I've, I have not found one. There's sometimes when I play through, I've found that I can actually hide out. Oh, there's one more zombie left. I found that I can hide out by the door better than I can by any of the other stuff. The thing is, there's no strafing in this game. You sit in one place and shoot. Okay. Let's see if I can draw him out. I don't have any health left. I got two blocks of health. Let me go right to my good weapons here. No more screwing around. Yeah, this is way better than hiding behind the, the store displays, that's for sure. You know, don't throw your magazines. Oh jeez, it looks like the way to do damage to him is to wait until he drinks his wine. There you go, this is working much better. Although it seems like, like, mo it seems as though with most psychopaths, He's occasionally invincible. For no apparent reason. I thought that's on the hard part, is telling when he's invincible and when he's not. Usually if they're in the middle of doing something, they're either totally invincible, or that's the time you're supposed to shoot him. Like with Adam, when you have to get him when he's blowing up his balloons. I have no food left. I'm probably gonna die. Oh my. Okay, I thought somewhere around here there was a piece of food. Maybe inside this box? If I could... Come on. Whoops. Don't miss now. Hello. This one is to take two hits with a sledgehammer. You drink this coffee creamer. I only have a few bullets left, so I'll just see what else I can I can do here. If I can finish this with seven shots, I'd be amazed. The guy has a lot of health, that's for sure. Whoa, hello! <laughs> the zombie right behind me. Alright, I got nothing left to throw at this guy, so... Why? Why aren't you dead? I feel like a sledgehammer should be a one-hit KO. Guess not. I'm running... I got very little supplies left here, so I'm gonna pick up this pipe. If I know I know if I go back out here into the open area, I'll be able to find... I don't know if I can find another projectile weapon. There's one. But I can definitely find some food. I know that out here on top of some of the awnings, there's food just laying around. Not, and it's not actually awnings, it's like the construction. Whoop! Oh, don't take me down. Please. Alright. Maybe it was this store that had the food in it. I knew there was one near the gun shop that had something you could resupply with. Here we go. Some more coffee creamer. It's a bucket. What else we got? A nail gun. There's something. Okay, maybe I'll take on... Maybe I'll try and finish the job here. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, this... Oh, this guy is so crazy. So, I, this is actually the best strategy I've ever discovered. Just trying to do this guy from uh, outside of the shop. Because if you get in there with him, trying to take cover behind one of those distort displays is nearly impossible. He, he just... His shotgun has such a huge uh, range that it fires in it just makes this, you know, cone-shaped blast. I hold him on to back. Damn. It's gonna make this sort of difficult. We're gonna need to clear them before I can try and go after him. The thing is, the pipe's not a one KO. So this could get bad. Oh, jeez. I don't have a queen, either. That would be really great right now. Sometimes the hardhat zombies can take two hits with a sledgehammer. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't want to use up any of my uh, healing items on the zombies. Looks like I might have to. If I can clear this store, I can probably finish him off with the amount of stuff that I have left. Let me shut the door here so I don't get shot by him when I'm trying to do this. Oh, no, no, don't read books, don't read books, don't read books. Alright, uh... Step ladder, yeah. This is what happens when you have a low, a small inventory, and you can't carry that much stuff. So you have to just shuffle through things. 
killing zombies with a step ladder. This could be you. Like a public safety announcement. Step ladder doesn't have much durability either, and obviously it's not like KO. Ah. Okay. Time for coffee creamer. Can I move? Oh, jeez. What? I got I got locked in for a second there. That was bad. I could I definitely could have died from that. Man. Now I have to go find more food. But if I leave, the zombies will. All right. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can clear the area with this nail gun. Hopefully, there's enough stuff left to take out Cletus. Should be a one or two at KO. And then it's a headshot. See how much damage this does to Cletus, though. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna open the door and get shot. Nope, not quite. Okay. Alright, actually, I might have pushed open the other door. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> Shooting nails at this guy. Okay, apparently the nail gun doesn't do much to him. Let me finish off this pistol. Really should have opened the other door. Oh, here we go. Hit him while he's drinking his wine. I can't, I, can't, I can't see him. I don't know if you guys can see him on the recording, but I'm just going by where his name tag is, shooting kind of under it in the middle. I can see where the PP icon appears, too. I almost got him here. Oh, finally. My most hated psychopath. That guy is just crazy. But the reward is worth it. Damn, mister. Come on now. What, are you crazy? You want... You want guns so bad that y'all are willing to kill for them? <laughs> Let me go! Hey! <laughs> Please! Hey, wait! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> and Cletus gets what's coming to him. Sorry, the cutscenes are all dark. The game keeps the ambient lighting during cutscenes, as well as what you're wearing, which I don't know if you've noticed, my sunglasses and stuff, they stay on during cutscenes. Oh, and he's dead, and no one even cares. Not even a little bit. Okay, tell me there's some wine back here. I really need a health restorative item. I saw him drinking tons of wine. He must have left one bottle around. Come on. Come on, give me something. Give me something. Doesn't look like it. Damn. Alright, well, I don't want a nail gun anymore. I'm dropping that sucker. What have we got here? I don't even want the handgun. I don't. I have to. I have to my book. I want the book. That's for survivor-related prestige points. All right. So you got shotguns. You got where are they? There you go. You got shotguns, which are nice. They're really the staple. You're gonna want a lot of shotguns. Shotguns, sniper rifles. Sniper rifles are cool, but the shotguns are more useful, just because one shotgun blast blows away a ton of zombies. So you can come back here and get a few shotguns, a couple sniper rifles every time you visit North Plaza. And if you got extra room in your inventory, try and break this counter. Come on. Frank. You know what? Alright, here, give me my... You can get a handgun, too. Alright. Let's get out of here. I need to go grab some food from the supermarket. Only problem is the uh whoop. Actually what I should do is try and save my game. Let me try and get out to where there's a tunnel over here that I can take to try and get closer to the save room. I only have three blocks of health, I don't want to get caught around in a big crowd of zombies here. There's not much time left for them taking on the next boss either. Shotguns are pretty good. Whoop. Just timed that kick, I couldn't tell how far away he was. Yeah, I always feel so rich when I walk out of here with shotguns and stuff in hand. It's like, yes! They're crowd clearers, that's what they're good for. Give you the room you need to. Whoa! Maneuver! Oh boy, this is bad. I'm one hit from death here. This is quite quite bad. Okay, let me climb up here. There's a baguette 
up here I can eat. <laughs> There's a zombie up here too, I better be careful. Just making sure. Yeah. Eat my baguette! You see how it is when you're a low-level character, you, you basically barely survive everywhere you go. It's not... not easy. Actually, that baguette did not do much. I'm gonna drink the milk, too. But it's fine, because right here is the bathroom. And I'm here to save my game. Thank goodness. Alright, so in this episode we defeated Cletus. Next episode we're gonna go take on another crazy bastard. This time, in the supermarket. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.